speaking of things we all like, it's time to talk about Dr. Muhammad Noor. Ooh. I thought I thought I thought we were thinking about talking about things we like. He's something that we love. Love, Aww, yeah. You guys are too kind. Oh wait, we gotta. Uh, we, we we. There we go. Heart emoji. <laughs> heart reaction right there. It's her. She's thinking about us in this show. Uh, well, Muhammad, today we wanted to discuss this awesome Star Trek podcast that you do or did you don't really uh i don't know if you're still doing it but you did two series you do yep. bio trekkie explains That's and right. you also do uh the other one with the admiral what is that the admiral bio trekkie and so, the, with so the one, one is bio trekkie explains and that one's still going that one right now is just a monthly podcast so it's, it's pretty light in that sense and the other one that was a that was a temporary one that i just did through january and february that was bio trekkie with the admiral and that had uh my, my friend and awesome actress, uh, Jane Brooke, who played Admiral Katrina Cornwell in Star Trek Discovery. So for Biotrekky with the Admiral, what we did is we just went through the, um, the episodes of season three of Discovery. And I talk about especially like the, the science and, and particularly the biology from every episode. And she would ask a lot of really good, insightful questions. One thing I loved about Jane is she would ask really, really good questions about the science, but also give really good analogies to say, oh, well, that sounds like when blah, blah, blah happens in real life. I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's like an amazing analogy. Yes, <laughs> so that was great. <laughs> but then she'd also then talk about the production side, which she wasn't involved in the production of season three, but she was obviously involved in Star Trek before. But she would pick up things about, you know, about the spacing or about how different things were shot and things like that, and things that I wouldn't have picked up otherwise. But it was just a conversational series, about 30 minutes each episode. And they were really, really fun to do. I really enjoyed doing that. I wish there were more episodes of Discovery so we could just continue doing that, though. We have talked about maybe at some point going back and doing seasons one and two, but yeah. we haven't done that yet. Do, do you use some of her analogies in your teaching now or? Well, I mean, that, that, that finished just in February. So this semester I'm just oh, doing yeah. a grad seminar, but I totally will. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> you but yeah, my you... other series, which is going is by Tricky Explains. And that, that's yeah. not specific to discovery. That just is, right. you know, I pick a different uh, show each time. So I think my, my one for May, I think I'll just say it here, even though I haven't, I haven't told anybody else yet, but Whoa, coming for the first this time is here. It. All right. <laughs> My one for May is from uh, Star Trek Next Generation, the episode Evolution. I'm going to basically just oh, introduce yeah. the concept of natural selection using the nanites that Wesley released. <laughs> but each, each episode is something like that. And those are much shorter. Those episodes are like between six and 10 minutes. It's just like one concept from biology introduced using some Star Trek examples and then just break it down. Informational. Nice. Um, yeah. Well, you said that you did uh, the, the Biotrekkie with the Admiral uh, for two months, but I think there are like 14 episodes. Were you releasing two episodes a week? So what we did is we the first episode of Biotrekkie with the Admiral, we just talked about the pilot. After that, we did pairs of episodes in each one. Right. Okay. Yeah. So here's something I was thinking about yesterday um, on my, my daily 20-minute Think About Muhammad uh, <laughs> routine. <laughs> Was I was thinking, taking out the the bio Trekkie explained and focusing more on the Jane Brooke uh, podcast you did with her. What was there something about it that you just you never expected? It was like a big surprise, or it was better. It was better than you expected, or it was or it was more difficult than you expected. I mean, what what were the surprises that kind of came with doing a podcast with somebody else? Well, yeah, it's true. That's a good point. I'd never actually done a podcast with another person before. So, I mean, honestly, it was just really a lot of fun. Just in the sense of it would end up just being a Zoom conversation with Jane, who already was a friend of mine. So just having a great chat. That was that was great. I wouldn't say that was a surprise. I mean, I, I fully anticipated I would enjoy that. that was <laughs> or great. you wouldn't have done it. Right? <laughs> no, exactly. The production on that was much easier than for Biotrekkie Explains because Biotrekkie Explains, like I show up just at the very beginning, the very end, but everything else is like constant graphics being added in. Mm. This was basically just splice a Zoom thing and maybe take out a couple of little misspeaks. So the editing on that and the time investment on that was much lighter. I guess the thing that surprised me most was just her talent with uh, with the analogies and with asking like really, really insightful questions on the biology. I knew she would about the production side because I mean, that's of course her specialty, but mm -hmm. just, she was just so on top of that. And just, and so, and we didn't rehearse things ahead of time. I mean, we, we talked just very briefly, but here's the general things I'm going to talk about. Okay, here's the general things I'm going to talk about, but it'd be like a two minute conversation. Then we'd have our 30 minute conversation that was recorded. And it was really very very enjoyable <laughs> so you don't you don't rehearse huh michael and i always rehearse 
our line. Oh, you didn't. We were supposed to say the lines oh, together at that to point. No lines. lines. Lions. <laughs> no, we do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, well, everybody loved that podcast. It was really cool. And you're talking Thanks. about doing possibly the first two seasons, but have you actually put any serious consideration into doing it again, either for the fourth season or for a different yes. subject matter or anything like yeah, that? I think we, I think we'd be very down. Well, I mean, I can't speak for Jane, but I think <laughs> I would for <laughs> sure. And I think she would be uh, open to doing it for the fourth season for sure. I'm not positive about going back and doing seasons one and two, but we'll see. I mean, we're, basically what we just said is like, well, let's wait till summer and then we'll discuss it. Then the other thing we've talked about is the possibility of maybe doing something at a convention. If, have, if, Amazingly, those come to fruition again. <laughs> one of these some days. Yeah, fingers crossed. Be fun some to see everybody in person again. <laughs> yeah. uh, was there ever a comment left on one of the videos that really stood out to you, whether it was something mean and nasty or whether it was something just so nice that was like, it was nicer than any of the others or, or, it, or something interesting that you hadn't thought about? Was there ever a comment left that really stood out to you? Ryan, are you looking ever. for congratulations right here or something? Are you fishing Pardon? for compliments? <laughs> I never leave comments. No. <laughs> I don't remember ever anything, anybody putting anything mean at all. I mean, there would be occasional spam things. I just go through and delete those with it. But people were very kind. I mean, our, our friend from 7th Rule War Dog Heim would always leave a, you know, a really kind comment talking about things right. that, that showed up in the show. A couple other people. There, there's one person who on Twitter is Gloria Gen X. She'd often comment on things. But it was often just really kind things. There was one biologist who commented a lot. But I don't remember if it was for explains or for the one with Admiral. There's one biologist whose name is Sharon Minsuk. She commented on a lot of the videos too. And she sometimes actually uh, disagreed with some points I would make. And we'd have, we sometimes have a back and forth in the comments like, well, I think it's this one. I was like, well, but, but what it's about fun. this? And it, but it wouldn't be, it wasn't at all hostile. It was just different perspective, largely agreeing, but you know, arguing some of the- should have a show where just the two of you debate biology yeah <laughs> i'm but not get, sure that would go over well but get <laughs> hostile might be too much of the weeds. <laughs> definitely use the hostility this time yeah, we're on your side so hey thank you <laughs> i don't know anything about her but we're on your side i'm i'm on her side hey shout out by the way to uh bill erickson out in the blue skies of montana you mentioned him uh war dog heim, war dog heim. great dude he's very supportive of the community we all love him totally 